Welcome to Mail Call. The mic is on. God, she sounds official. That's a pretty good article. Now I sit me down to eat. I pray the Lord these dogs won't eat my dinner. That, that's, that's pretty good. That's good. I, we had Carl here. Were you around when Carl was here? No, I saw. Two days ago. Mm -hmm. And Carl really, Carl's owner cannot deal with discipline, which is a disaster with a very large dog. But at any rate, while Carl was here, I told him to back. Let me touch her. No. It's a little back. Thank you. That's a good girl. Okay, you can pat her now. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, there are times when teaching a dog to back is very handy. Mm -hmm. And with her, I don't know, I was in some nursing home or another. I know, I was in the hospital approaching the elevator. And I don't like her standing right in front of the elevator because I'm always afraid the doors will open and so, and then drop dead with a heart attack. So, um, from quite a ways away, I had to sit back. Mm -hmm. She backed up. Nice. The crowd couldn't believe I couldn't believe it either but um, the, the crowd the crowd was amazed and, <laughs> I, and I was too it was it was quite spectacular a trained dog is a spectacular thing mm -hmm. these guys we made our hundred hundred count today Wow I forgot we had 46 29 and today there was another 30 some odd Wow great it is it is this was a rehab center. Most of the people were in wheelchairs and noisy. I was supposed to be speaking, but never really got a chance. <laughs> and Lockie was the head of the whole thing. Again, yeah, yeah. I hope that they got a picture that we can use. He's buried in a pile of people with wheelchairs. And you can see his spotted, you know. Yep. So the picture would be great if they, they're supposed to have sent it to me. Oh, good. What else do you want to know? Well, the mail. This That's is, it? This, this is it in one box. Hmm. Yep. One. Oh, come on now. One. Oh, what is It's a song. Oh. One, the meatball. One meatball. There's a song. One meatball. Okay, guys. You have your assignment. <laughs> ah, I have no idea where that's from. Hold on, sis. Hold on, sis. Get out of here, will you? An ad from the Wall Street Journal. I've, I've been published in the Wall Street Journal. Have did you? you? Did you know that? I did know that. I did. Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. And Janine, so is Janine. Hmm. Janine did a study on the a personal walkthrough uh, of the uh, carriage horses in New York oh, when okay. there was such a big fuss. And she went all through several of the carriage barns. She, the horses are beautifully cared for. They have a job and it's in traffic, but it doesn't seem to faze them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's no worse than plow, pouring a flower around a field, really. It's just, Good girl. It's the people. The people were more miserable than the people in the field. <laughs> Something like that. But uh, she said the horses were fine. They 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 go upstairs and you know they're up in third and fourth floor stable. Yeah, okay. You know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, they, they're, they're well cared for. She's drooling. Okay, now get out of here. Oh, it made a noise. Yes, it did. Oh dear. That's why they were looking at the, the jar up Look, here. They ought to be able to smell what's in there for oh, heaven's yeah. sakes, you oh, know? Yeah. Oh. I mean, come on, they're, they're dogs, they have here noses. We go. Here we go, yep. I know. Oh, there's the third one. I, I know, get out of the way. Come on, Lex. Look out. Come here, 
pieces. You know what's going to happen? We're going to have to use those cookies That's okay. That's to okay. feed because of this, because I don't want to open the whole deal again. It's good. Yay. It's good. I'm going to give this okay. to you, okay, and you give me good. three cookies. Yeah, we'll get it. Get it out of the way. We, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, here we go. I don't have them. Your mom does. There we go. We got it. That saves open in the box. Yeah. So I need to know who sent this. Hold on, I'll help you in a minute here. I don't, I don't want to flare the, the logo, you know. I don't want to give them any more advertising than necessary. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we put that back on there. Yeah. Okay. You got it? Yep. Yeah. It's all yours. Let's No, that's not going to work right. What happened? What do you got? What do you got? Open this. This is a put. This is a pepper shaker. Oh. Here, open the pepper shaker. Wow. Did you get your pepper shaker open? See, the whole thing came off, right? Right. The salt shaker works. So I have an effect. See, I, you can't either, right? I can't. There we go. Got it. Okay, now put it back together again. See, what, <laughs> actually, I put it together. Who the hell cares? Well, you could put it on really light, you know, like like part of the way, like that, right? So it'll be easy to. So you just gotta push it down just a little bit, and it stays down. So if I put this in with my pill boxes, it'll stay there. Or will I have pepper all over? Don't, let's not worry about it. But that is a very strange. Okay, thing. so you, see if you can. I, I know. Does it? Is it, it comes off easier? the whole thing instead of instead of. I thought maybe that I got it open once. Uh, yes. Maybe it'll. Well, knowing that it does that too, I have to okay. hold on to it. I'll, I'll I manage. think the more you use it, somehow it'll... figuring out a small tractor can't be the worst thing. I, I have know to that do. the heart. Well, you can see through it, but I was going to say the hardest part is going to say be like. Which one's a salt and which one's a pepper, but you oh, can, can see through that. it. See, that does fall apart, though. It spilled pepper all over the place, you know? Yeah. That's not going to be easy. Well, I. Well. Somehow I'll figure <laughs> you'll, out. You'll figure I'm not out. going to be stumped by a defective salt pepper shaker. No. Just don't, uh, just don't close the lid as tight and you'll be okay. Just close it like halfway. I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But that's annoying to me. It is annoying. See, I can open it if I think before I open it. <laughs> and I, if I hold the lid on the pepper shaker, yes, then I can do the top. Yes. And probably the more I use it. I think it will it loosen will, up, yes. It will loosen up. There's our mail call. 
Oh. Thank you, Victoria. Let's see. Meet the dog. Fluffy. Hello, ladies and awesome home dogs. One meatball, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One meatball. Huh. Well, okay. One meatball. One meatball. Fluffy. Carlene, it never ceased to amaze me your knowledge and <laughs> proof of how much they can learn once they are well trained. Good for you, Sizzle, Jiminy, and Larky. They were good. Mm -hmm. They were good. And when we were through, I said to Judy, they were the a person there helping us. I said to Judy, you go open the car door. And the person helping us, I said, you go open the front door. And then I said to the door, go get in the car. And they, <laughs> they took off running down the hall. A lot of people all over the place. Wow. And they ran out of the car and got in the car. Nice. Very nice. Lila May asks, are the hay donations sent to SDP directly? Are the hay donations? Yeah. No, they're not. They are going to ERN directly, and ERN is also a charity. Um, the I have been spending money on the on the hay, so it does help me, mm -hmm. and I have been helping service organizations. It helps, you know. It's harder to find what is what, but the hay is be, that hay money is being spent only on hay. It's right. not on personnel. It's not on gasoline. It's nothing. It's straight. Hay. Hmm. So you are buying a bale of hay, which is nine dollars and fifty cents. Well, wow. okay. How about that? Here, that's at the at the terminal. If if I wait till they bring it down here, it's fourteen fifty. Wow. So I am saving. What is that? Five dollars. Mm-hmm. I am saving five dollars by driving my car up there and pulling hay. How much it. did it used to be before all this crazy? Two dollars and fifty cents. Nothing much. I mean, it was. You bought it by the pound. Okay. By the ton. Mm -hmm. Um And I've forgotten exactly, but it was never this high. Wow. Wow. It's very nice hay. I'll say that. I I got a good look at it today because she threw a bale on the front of my car. My car. It's a hard life. Um, she threw a bale of hay on the front of my car today to mm -hmm. carry it someplace because, oh, here we go, because her wheelbarrow was defective. Yeah. And when you have horses, having a defective wheelbarrow is very painful. Um, so I do carry a toolbox in my car. It's under quite a bit of other things. Mm -hmm. Somebody has thrown away, I have one of those plastic bottles that milk bones come in, <laughs> mm -hmm. full of nuts, bolts, and a whole bunch of hardware that you just end up, you know, I could not find it in my car. That's how bad my car is. And I needed a cotter pin because the wheel kept falling off the wheelbarrow. I hate to tell you what I did. Uh oh. <laughs> On my dashboard was a collection of eyeglasses. <laughs> and one of them was wire rimmed eyeglasses. Now, I needed a wheelbarrow more than I needed the eyeglasses. And to contribute one of these stems to the wheelbarrow was not going to hurt the eyeglasses. They still work. Mm -hmm. If you don't stab yourself with the thing that I cut off. <laughs> so I cut off one of the legs of the eyeglasses and fix the wheelbarrow. Nice. So I have eyeglasses that work and a wheelbarrow that works. That yeah. every, when you don't have a wheelbarrow... You, I can't even imagine. You know, it's, you know you've got a problem. Yeah. And she, it just happens. They, they get broken and things. Mm -hmm. She has been bringing them back here and apparently Bud has been fixing them. But she's down to only two wheelbarrows. Wow. And she's got, what, 18 horses or something over there? I don't know how many she's got. She's not, not 18 horses. 18 animals. And mm -hmm. Five of them are goats. Or, you know, it, goats, she's got a bunch of Goats, horses, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At any rate, they use, between there and here, we use about 10, 10 bales a day. Wow. So that an 80-pound, 80-bale load is about a week. Wow. That's a lot. It is. It's yeah. constant. Yeah. 
That's the problem. It is constant. You have no way out. I mean, I love having you guys help because if you don't, then I have to buy, or she, has, somebody's got to buy the hay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it, 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 yeah. it, it can be a lot. Yeah. That's 80, 70 dollars a day, is it? $80. Yeah, yeah. $80 yeah. a day. Day yeah. after day after day, and there's no break. That's why an awful lot of horses end up in this slaughter pen business, because people, people just can't, can't afford, afford it. it. Yeah, yeah. So Indy Dune says, Hi, Carlene and Karen. How was your Wednesday? Well, we ended up going to a rehab center <clears throat> for... They're pretty much everybody was wheelchair bound with a miscellaneous collection of problems. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. The staff there were very nice. And I said incorrectly, but I just was making a point that their father came from the Czech Republic. Damned if a guy running the, the rehab center wasn't from the Czech Republic. Hmm. Uh, how often is that going to wow. happen? Wow. Well, okay. That's like that's like the other place I go to where there's a an ex bull rider. Oh, you told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I I saw. Speaking of that, I saw Wallace on Grover. Oh, really? And here in the parking lot. Oh, good. He was outside. He got on him and he started bucking. bucking. He didn't fall mm -hmm. off, did he? Wow. That's all I can say is wow. Wow is right. I he, mean, he started him in circles, and he calmed down a little bit, and then he wanted him to go up the driveway, and he got a little farther, and he started again. I mean, he was really... That's, that's yeah. I, it, and he's like on there like it's no big you know, deal. Yeah, like put a cup of coffee in one hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm unbelievable. Yeah. He is yep. super special, and... That's that part of this whole deal is there's only one Wallace. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if he can't come here till he finishes his real job, which is riding other horses other places, um, we have no choice but anybody else. I mean, uh, anybody else wants to volunteer to get on one of these crazy fools. <clears throat> no, thank uh, but you. he'll get on anything, and he doesn't come off. I least. saw Grover's eyes, and I'm like. Huh? I saw Grover's eyes, and I'm like, I'm staying away from that one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, but he, he'll, you know, after after 30 days, yeah, um, he'll have a, a, a nice, quiet horse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which has more value than what he what we got now. Right. I right. mean, she's buying them pretty much by the pound. Wow. You know, I mean, it, <laughs> et cetera. Well, I'm glad you saw that. It's too bad he wasn't in front of a camera. Maybe he was, I don't know. It was Where? just right in, like in front of ICE, the ICE house. Oh, in front of the ICE house? Yeah, yeah. He so I don't know if the camera he might was... Have, he, well, it, it might have been. Yeah, but it was really... Uh, it's a spectacular It was thing. something to see, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, screw the arena, you know, forget it. We could, it. It's almost good enough for him to ride over at Meredith. I mean, the fields are almost... I uh, can drive around through the back with these dogs in the morning and the the path I'm on is tough but it's it's doable. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So he can he can begin to ride over there so okay. so we can just erase that problem but it's too damn bad because it's it's something to see. Mhm. Mm and we have to accommodate him because I don't know anybody else in Massachusetts that can stay on the way he can. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and it's his father that's over there at Meredith putting up the walls. Oh. Wow. And you would be, you would not believe the, the the rocks this guy has. Oh my God. <laughs> I have not seen a truck come in with them. But <clears throat> he has pallets, you know, that square. Square, pallet, with a wire around them, full of boulders that are about this big, big, big boulders. Mm -hmm. Most of them are just pretty damn uniform. And they keep coming in. I don't know. I've never seen a truck with them, but Janine says she's seen the truck coming in. 
I can't tell from the collection of the pile whether he's making the pallets or the pallets are being delivered and then broken up into this. Yeah, I, I, so he's making a wall out of the rocks. Well, yeah. Okay. And then he has this monster tractor come along and take a pile of rocks over to where they're building the wall. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's really quite an operation. Then there's the collection of firewood. He's got well, the collection of rocks, the pallets of rocks. I would guess he's got about thirty pile, thirty pallets along with a huge pile where they've broken the pallets and it's just a pile of rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's got the firewood, you know, pallets of, of firewood. And I thought, well, isn't he cutting trees down and making firewood and things? No, he's bringing in the firewood because what he is doing is all these trees have a tape on them that runs off into a big bin. He's collecting maple syrup. Uh. And you need an awful lot of firewood to boil it down. I don't know a damn thing about it, but I do know that when we go over there in the morning, there's always one, there's three big things through the roof. Chimneys, yeah. You know, big smokestacks. Mm -hmm. And there's always one that's puffing smoke. But after we've been there for not very long and the guys get there to build the wall, all three of these things are puffing smoke. Huh. Uh, he's got the bins of syrup are about half the size of that desk, you know. Mm -hmm. And they're well, all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it really is a hell of an operation. It's interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, where were we here? Oh, right there. Pico. Hi, Carlene and Karen. Carlene, did you ever work with ferrets during animal episodes? I, yeah, I did once. Okay. They're not... I, I don't know. That never stopped me, right? <laughs> um, I think you have to have a permit to have a ferret. Okay. Because they're very destructive and very clever and things like that. I, I, hmm. I've forgotten the details, but... And they have to be spayed, neutered, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes them hard to find. I do know a, when I had a call for a ferret, you know, they call me and they say, I want a ferret tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. i got to come up with them. And I, I do know I had trouble finding one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was quick. I remember it running up my sleeve or, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was tough to handle. Uh, Karen, thanks for helping. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, just doing what I can around here. Uh, let's see. Fluffy, the news about future puppies being kept in the ice houses made me sad. I'm so accustomed to having them in the house. Besides, that camera over there has been failing. I'm, I'm hoping they're going to get that fixed before the puppies come. But we'll know. wait and see. I don't know. Yeah. Not my department. Mm hmm Murphy. Hi, Carlene and Karen and House Dogs. Great article in the Ipswich News, Carlene. <laughs> Enjoyed reading it. I, an awful lot of people read it. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, these, these helms that I've been going to, there'll be three or four people that have said, are you the one that writes the paper? <laughs> you know. And I feel like a celebrity. Nice. It's lovely. Nice. Indy Dunes. Karen, which dogs have you recently, recent overnight guests at your place? Well, the last one was Army when she got spayed, but I haven't had any more since because one of my cats is not feeling well. So once he gets back, he's he's almost back to normal now. What I'll, the I'll start taking... He... He stopped eating, That's and he was thing. hiding, and uh, I opened up his mouth and one of his top canines fell out. Oh. So the vet put him on antibiotic, and um, 
After a couple of days, he still wasn't eating, still hiding. I was giving him baby food. Yep. <laughs> and um, <coughs> so then they they gave him some fluids. They um, gave him uh, medicine to help his appetite and some like urgent care wet food what has nutrients and mm -hmm. things because he hadn't been eating. It's so, fluid though. Huh? Fluid is usually the problem. I mean, how do you get fluid in them? The, the vet did it. They, oh. they put it under the skin Oh, yeah. And then the body absorbs oh, it. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. You didn't. I didn't do it. No. It's no, not no. complicated. Oh, I know. It's just, just, it, it's right under yeah, the skin. You, you make a baseball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, after that, he started getting better. He had a little setback where he wasn't feeling good again, but then he fought it and he's better now. So. Yeah, it's the fluid. You got to be very careful. As long as they got plenty of fluid. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping, like, within the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to take a dog overnight again. Oh, there we go. Because I, I enjoy that. And and Felix loves the, the dogs. Yeah. That's my cat. Yeah, so. All right. Uh, New Jersey girl. Thank you for the links in the DD. I got my bricks and some hay. Wonderful. <laughs> I put both links in there. Mm -hmm. How about it? <laughs> BJ Moose, Carlene, why do you need a salt and pepper in your toolbox? No, no it's not my toolbox, it's my pillbox. Your pillbox. My collection of pills. Okay. Before it gets to be the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday pills. Okay. You know, I have a bunch of them, you know. Mm -hmm. And I always have salt and pepper in there because I eat in bed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Pico, Carlene, I love your ingenuity. My daughter's boyfriend needed something tied. I heard her say, ask my mom. She knows knots. Thanks for the knot lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, I enjoyed your story this morning in the DD about the cheesecake and the jeans. Oh. It gave me a good laugh. Well, it's, it's, it, uh, I got two pair of jeans that I can't wear. Did you read the story? No. I, I didn't read it this morning. Okay, I usually well, do, but I didn't. I, I wanted to order jeans. I measured me up, and I, it, it was very complicated. L.L. <laughs> Bean has a whole deal to go through to find out exactly what size. I sent away for a pair of blue jeans, and I didn't get them. So I wrote to L.L. Bean, and I said, I never got the blue jeans. So they sent me a pair, Okay. Yeah. In between there, somebody gave me cheesecake. And I ate the whole cheesecake. I like cheesecake. So now I'm three or four pounds heavier than I was when I measured to get them. So I can't wear those. I washed them out. They're all ready for me to wear, but I gotta get rid of about five pounds before I can oh get boy. in them. Oh boy, oh boy. You know, it's not easy. So now, <laughs> then Janine finds the other pair in a bag somewhere on the property. I don't know where. They'd gotten delivered, but we just didn't know it. So now you got two. Now, so now I have two pairs. But of you blue can't jeans wear them fit. yet. I can't wear them yet. <laughs> Such is life at Crazy Acres. Yeah. Fluffy, hooray for Wallace, Brazilian stamina. <laughs> when you said he was jumping around, I thought you said meant the parking pit. No, no, he, right he, in front uh, of the okay. ice house. That's a lot better. That that would not be a good place for him to be. No, 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 pit. no, no. No, but in front of that. Yeah. That used to be our riding area. It's 60 wide by 100 feet long. Mm -hmm. The dressage ring. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, he, he was working with them there, and yeah. then he took them up the driveway. So. Well, see, once he gets up on the driveway, he's on hot top. Mm. That's not good either. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, he, the, the horse could fall on the hot top. Mm -hmm. But that, whatever. He'd get up again, I guess. Hilda, Carlene, great at McGivering things. <laughs> Ducky, I saw Wallace and it was scary. Oh, you did. It was on camera. Okay, all right. Oh, I hope it, I hope somebody I hope somebody brings it up and puts it here. I'd be fun to watch. That would be nice. Oh, oh, the one meatball. Yep. Indie Dunes. 
Sorry to hear about your cat. Totally understand. I hope he's feeling better soon. Yeah, I, I, he's pretty much uh, back to normal. I'm just waiting for him to get a little stronger before I bring be them. You've got to very careful that he's getting fluid. Oh, he is. I He's drinking water. He's he, drinking. Well, through the, other the thing, whole thing, he was drinking water. I tell you, water. I can give you a present. <clears throat> I have a chicken carcass. You could take it home and boil it. He's he's better now. He's okay, okay well, now. Okay, that, well, that's one thing you can yeah. do is to, yeah. is to flavor his water with and, chicken and he'd be more inclined to drink and it. And he's, he's not eating his, uh, like, kibble. Chicken. He's not eating his kibble anymore, so I have to give him wet food. And now you, the other you cat... Want chicken carcass? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> It's so the other it's one of those chickens you know, get in the yeah. supermarket. So the other cat's like she won't eat her kibble until I put a little bit of the wet food in it because you know this is what I got going now. So that's you know? so you've been trained by the cats to feed wet food. Well, I'm doing it to him because I so want him matter. to eat. It doesn't matter. The cats have got you trained to put the yes. wet food. Yes, that's they what have. my article in the paper is all they, about. They 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 have yes. Yep, there you are. Mm -hmm. It's like we yep. put on Parmesan cheese around here. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Where's my cheese? Mm -hmm. So there's your your meatball song. <laughs> okay. I hope somebody can come up with Wallace. Come on, guys. It wasn't that long ago. It was maybe an hour huh? ago. It was maybe an hour ago. Well, maybe it's on the thing still. Do you want me to see if I can find it? Yeah. Okay, so it would probably be that one. Yep, this that one. one. Okay. Oh, Christ, now we're feeding out there. <laughs> okay. And nobody was in the arena, right? I don't know. Oh, I didn't get that far. I wonder if it was on the other camera. I don't know. I don't see it here. When I think of the money that I spent on putting up that arena. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that him? Yeah, there. Oh. I don't see. What's that? Bring that up. What's that? Oh. That's just on Puppy Hill. No, but back that. that. Is that anywhere? No, no, it was farther over here. So huh? it was, it was farther. Oh wait! Yeah, wait, there. Wait, 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 that, wait. Yeah. What's that? That might it, have been too soon. It looks like she was trying to find it. Well, if I had a car that was a very fancy car and I was really worried about it, I think I might. Stay out of his way, but what the hell? I don't. Was? I don't see it. It might be. Um, might be. I wonder if it was on this one. Maybe it was when he was just. No, uh, that car. That doesn't reach over there too much. But if he went up the hill. If right? he went up the hill, it would. Yes. I want to see him bucking though. Well, maybe somebody can find it. I don't see it now. You can go nuts looking at that stuff. Yeah, yep. Okay, let's see what we got here. Fluffy, Janine posted it, Karen. Oh, okay. Is this, is this it? Okay, what I'm gonna do. Do you know Where'd, if you- she post it? Uh, maybe over on her website, uh, maybe on I ERN. We'll look after. Okay. We'll see if we can find it. Swam. I did catch Wallace on camera. Hard to see, but you can see the horse spin. Okay. Spinning is not as much fun as bucking. Well, he spin the horse after he started bucking. Sure he did. That's to stop him from bucking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The horse is not the most clever thing in the world. Ducky. Janine Karen, Janine has a video below. down below. Oh. Okay, let's let's go see. It's 
way down below, isn't it, Hal? Yeah, Three hours, well, it could be. That, that, well, I don't think it was, well, No, so it'd be after three o'clock because he has a job. Isn't that funny? I, uh, Wallace on the horse puppy cam two hours ago on the TP cam. Let me let me refresh. Let me see if something didn't get posted. Well, we'll somebody somebody will come out with it. Yeah. Yeah. There it, there is. it is. There it is. Okay, here you go. Oh yeah, 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 there is. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. He doesn't come off. No. Nope. No. Nope. He still wants to bug. He does. Well, wasn't that fun? Yeah. I don't know if there's any more. Oh, here we go. Let's see if he behaves That's up That's a here. nice horse. Yeah. Janine was hoping that could be her horse, but I don't think that could be her horse. Well, you know what? When he gets through with it... I know. Uh-oh. Here he goes Well, again. it's a lot easier for a younger person to deal with than it is. I mean, she yeah. knows spring chicken. Yeah. As she points out, she'd fall off. Yeah. But she doesn't fall off as well as she used to. <laughs> she used to be able to fall off and flip back on the horse at the same time. Yeah. She's ridden horses at Suffolk Downs, you know. A lot of horses. Yeah, looks like he's... And I never, I never bought a made horse for my kids. They always had to train them. Because it was cheaper. Oh, he's having him back up. Okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. All right, I'm going to stop that now, okay? What? I'm going to stop that now, okay? That'd be fine, sure. Because I got it doesn't the picture. Look like, yeah, but you saw the exciting part. Yes. I mean, that can go on for an hour, but I don't think it does. Yeah. Lulu, any new puppies on the way? Okay. Well, we're hoping Capri will have a litter in April, but we're uh, and since this just is waiting March, to see. Yeah, we're pretty close. Yeah. About another month. It doesn't take long to make puppies. No, no. Two months. Yeah, so... <laughs> Okay. Who's that dog? That one. I'm thinking it's it's really hard to tell with the close up. I wonder if it's Spock. Oh. Spock maybe. Oh. It's hard to tell. I'm thinking because of that white that dark spot there. I'm thinking it's Spock, but I I don't quote me on that. <clears throat> well, I can't imagine anybody who would. <laughs> <laughs> she said it, Spock. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just believe me, I, I've done that before. Let's see. Where we got? I don't see anything else. I think we're done. Are we done? I think okay. we're done. All right. Thank you, everybody. And uh, see you around. I'll see you. Yeah. See you next week. They'll be here tomorrow, but I won't. Oh. I think Bev will be here tomorrow, but I won't. For Malcolm. How come you're not coming? 
Because it's her day. Oh, who is? Bev. Oh, Beverly. Okay. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then I'll Bev. be back next yep. week. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you again.